I'm excited to be here today to share with you some news about the key features, themes, and objectives that we've used to make Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 the most compelling release to date from the Linux product line. Openness really isn't just a feature in the release, it's how we do business and it's part of our methodology here at Red Hat. The RHEL 6 kernel, while it started from a baseline of 2632, includes many other features that we have pioneered collaboratively with other community members and our partners since then. So that RHEL 6 really does represent the best of breed of technologies that are available at the kernel space at the day of its launch. In many networking workloads, we've seen up to twice the throughput as compared to RHEL 5 and prior releases. For file system-based workloads, we've seen in the range of two to five times the performance. Another key scalability area is in virtualization. We have invested considerable effort in optimizing low-level uh, performance to be able to remove the overhead associated with I.O. As a result, um, many virtualized workloads such as database, file, mail and print server, which are very I.O. intensive, are increasingly well suited to be deployed in a virtualization environment. It's an extremely simple model because it's well integrated with Linux and fundamentally virtualized guests are treated the same as processes. There's a new feature in RHEL 6 called SVIRT which stands for Secure Virtualization. Should any security breach occur within the KVM hypervisor, we have a backup layer with, with SE Linux to be able to ensure that the host cannot uh, break out and uh, impact any other virtualized guests. We have been working very closely with our hardware partners to take advantage of a lot of new reliability features, specifically aimed at fault isolation. We're now able to isolate the fault, declare that memory page bad, no longer use it, and enable the system to continue running. Control groups are a way of dedicating processor resources, memory resources, and throughput for a disk and I.O. network to be dedicated on a per-process basis. Another key example of a reliability feature are, is the utilization of hardware checksumming for the data storage layer. These are things like file systems and databases can now be integrated to store on the disk using hardware the checksum associated with that data. Another example of a, a new availability feature is an, a bug reporting capability called ABRT. This is a new mechanism in RHEL 6 which will automatically capture system crash state information, whether it's the system or any application running on the system itself. The customer that can then has the flexibility to decide what to do with it. It could be automatically logged right into Red Hat support or it can be centrally aggregated right on site. It's been great to have this opportunity to share with you some of the excitement our team has for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6. You can see that we've combined the open source principles, improved reliability, enhanced scalability, and brought data center operational efficiency to your environment.